Tonight, parts of the McKinsey Bridge area are still under a level three go now evacuation order. NBC 16's Juliet Smith has the story of a family who already lost one home to a fire and are now being forced to evacuate again. Several people from the McKenzie Bridge area are staying at Lowell High School after evacuating from the lookout fire. The Red Cross set up the site with plenty of food and space for people to rest. It's a routine some know all too well. One family who lost their home to the Holiday Farm fire just three years ago is being forced to evacuate again. They say it's been incredibly challenging. It was very frustrating and heart wrenching. You lose certain things, you know, like those things in remembrance boxes, like, you know, those little handprints your kids made in kindergarten, stuff like that, stuff you can never get back. This is what their home looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. Three years later, James Shirley and his family have a home on Horse Creek Road and have been forced to stay at this evacuation shelter since Monday morning as the lookout fire inches closer. The evacuation has been challenging with Shirley's mobility issues and caring for their animals. It's also been extra hard on two of his sons who are on the autism spectrum and are still dealing with trauma from the Holiday Farm fire. If they lose a second home to a wildfire, his wife suggested moving to the Midwest. She said I'll put up with tornadoes versus forest fires. <laughs> but he doesn't want to leave the Mackenzie Bridge community. He says since the Holiday Farm fire, he's felt extremely supported. Rick Booth is a disaster spiritual leader. His job is to do just that, support those who need it most. Booth helps settle people suffering from trauma. My job is to, is to take the most worst part of your day and bring you maybe back to a little bit of normalcy. So we give them that comfort. He says the community is staying strong because of all the support. In Lowell, I'm Juliette Smith reporting. Now for more information on the Lookout Fire evacuations, you can go to our website at NBC16.com.